expect brutality. But when you watch this fight scene, you're used to Joe Pesci talking about ducks. Or he has this weird monologue, and you're used to just comedic antics, shenanigans, Chris Rock, and this, all that. Mm -hmm. But you're right, there's no one-liners in this. I mean, there's squishy eye gouges. There's rebar stabbings. This I don't, is brutal. I don't know if there's even any dialogue until Murtaugh goes into the water. I'm sorry, until Riggs goes into the water with Jet Li, mm -hmm. where Murtaugh is yelling for Riggs. Wow. Like, I don't know. If, I don't think. I think after Murtaugh says, let's go ask him or whatever that line is when they do that cinematic, amazing cross. <sighs> I don't think there's another line of dialogue through that whole thing. I'm going to make a gif of that. I'm going to do it, and, I'll, so and I'll add it to ass. this final fight piece, because that's so cool. And also, I think this fight does Jet Li. It doesn't do him a disservice. Yes, he loses. However, two A-list stars who have been steamrolling people for years have to cheat. Two on one, and not, okay, I don't know if it's cheating, but they, I, like, well, no, it's not really. It's a fight to the death, so there's no cheating. Is there a cheating in fights to the death? When I will they, say they go, no, there's no cheating. I'd say they go a little dirty with yeah, it. Yeah, there it is. Sure. They, yeah, they go, they go dirty. They, they, they turn it into a jailhouse rock, bunkhouse brawl type thing. And they, I mean, the eye gouge, like Jet Li doesn't try to eye gouge. I was a little disappointed with his choking scene though, that maybe they were to rush the word. Like, so there's a scene where Jet Li and, and Mel Gibson are squaring off and Jet Li is just choking Mel with one arm, like one hand, just choking him. And I, I don't know, maybe they didn't have that much time. And maybe they needed to hold him there to get him stabbed. But that, I don't know. It just it seemed like a weird way for Riggs to lose, getting choked by one hand. Did you like that? Well, I guess I didn't object to it because Jet Li chokes a guy out earlier in the movie oh, with yeah. that same move. You're right. He reaches right. up and like, grabs yeah. the esophagus. Of, yeah. I guess it was the old dude, the guy that Murtaugh gave his father's watch to. You're right. And choked him out. Yeah, but it's right. like I don't I don't know if I fully buy Riggs being choked out at that point, other than him just getting the shit kicked out of him for three minutes and just tiring. Yeah, it's a good callback. So I I, I definitely like that, and I just I like that Jet Li is he is taken out by two guys with eye gouges, steel pipes, and rebar. Now that's you can't you can go home happy on that. He didn't lose but he, thirty rounds from a machine gun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So he. Yeah, he still was beating up people with rebar through his chest. So he, yeah, you're right. And then the, and then the AK underwater. And it's just, you know, oh, you don't. And feel I like bad. that. I love the sound effects too. Like after they get underwater and they're still struggling, you know, Gibson reaches for that machine gun. Jet Li grabs the barrel of it and tries to push off. And then they both look at each other. And for that briefest moment, Jet Li like shakes his head, like no, 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 don't do it. Like he knows what's coming. And then it's like dead silence. Then you just hear the thunder of the gun going off. Ugh. It's so well done. It's really intense. I, I just remember when I was 16, I think I went and watched this with my brother. We just thought this was the most epic brawl. Like this, It was just, uh, I, the, this was the main event. I mean, this movie made a ton of money. This was a super popular film. I know critics didn't really love it that much, but it made bank. But I remember just thinking how epic this fight was. And this is a time... 98, when we had Independence Day, we had Face Off, we had Con Air, and here's Lethal Weapon mm -hmm. 4 dropping a fight scene on us that is just jaw-dropping. I, I don't care about the hyperbole. I love this fight. No, it's, I, again, for me, it's just the brutality of it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like you don't see many fights that are this raw. That's a good like, word. Just, I don't know. Like, you see guys, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. There is... With the added elements of the of the rain, the set, you know, they almost did that helicopter type spotlight shining down through the top of the pier. So you have all those broken hard lines. You know, they're going in and out of shadows. Yeah, I mean, with every every landing of a hit or a punch or a kick or whatever they're doing, you know, more blood is being drawn. I mean, it's just which, which, I don't know. What, just the, the way that they how much detail they how much attention to detail is surreal what's your favorite moment oh uh, man i don't know i don't know i you love that flustered there. so on the skype call right now i can see tom and he just he, he got you got conflicted there that's funny i don't think i've ever I seen did. you do that i don't know man i love every moment of this fight i truly don't know if i can if i can pick out a favorite point, part to it i, I maybe love when maybe when riggs finally gets into the fight like i actually noted in here it takes one minute and seventeen seconds for him to land his first punch. He has a nice four punch, uh, four four strike combo in here too. Towards the end, I think it's when he finally gets into the fight where you can feel the table start to turn for those guys. 
I love that. I, I think for me, it's the eye gouge just because of the squishy sound effect and they, the heroes went there. You never see a hero's eye gouge. Do you, like, when do you see a hero's eye gouge? Yeah, it's pretty mean. Well, I love and he's it. Not, he's not above that either. In all no. the other movies, he's like poking guys in the eyes, messing yeah, with them. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he goes after eyes in these films. But I just, I was like, man, Rage just eye, like he's eye gouge? When you never see hero's eye gouge. So I, I really love that. That, the cross in the beginning and the eye gouge are my favorite. I love that. So we've talked about, all right, so let's see. All right, would you think 1987 rigs could have taken Jet Li in 19, like, so 1998 Jet Li versus 87 rigs? Uh, no, I don't think he could take him. I, I know his, I I know his name. Oh, sorry. I know his name's Wasing Koo, but I just keep saying Jet Li because it's Jet Li to me. I think he would do a better, a better chance. He would have a better chance against him one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't think he could do it by himself. Yeah. I think a younger Murtaugh and a younger Riggs probably could dispatch Lee much faster than what they did. Then again, at this point, I think Riggs is pushing 50 and Murtaugh's in his 60s at that point. What happens if it's Miss Joshua and Wasing Koo versus Martin Riggs, Roger Murtaugh, and Brian O'Connor? I'm bringing Brian back from our Lethal Weapon discussion because we said oh, what, I... what happens in a jiu-jitsu match between Riggs and Brian O'Connor? Who wins between Riggs, Murtaugh, and O'Connor? Versus Joshua and Wastinku. Uh, I think O'Connor would tip the scale for him. Throwing some Superman punches in there? Yeah, he's too efficient. He's too good. Oh, man. That'd be a, I want to see that fight now. Make it happen, uh, I don't know, Weta or ILM. Get it going. But no, man, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. All right, cool. So for me, Mark Hoffmeyer, for Tom Tresemer, this is Final Fights. We'll see you next week.